Do you like old school Contra games? Do you love the atmosphere and violence that Doom brought to the gaming space? Ever wonder what it would be like if Contra and Doom had a bloody, violent, old school 16-pit run and gun crossover? Well wonder no more, because in comes Iron Meat. This thing has it all. Great classic Contra-like gameplay. In fact, I would compare this demo to Contra 3 Alien Wars. Just fast paced run and gun action with really cool set pieces and effects that really never slows down the speed of the game with over the top gore effects. I mean, in most of these old school games, if you get hit by a spike or any other one hit kill, your character simply sort of just dies. However, in this game, your character literally gets chopped in half with blood gushing out and going all over the place. Hell, even the enemies don't simply just explode and disappear like they do in Contra or Mega Man. This time around, they straight up get gibbed, turning into a bloody mist with limbs and bones being blown all over the place. I mean, what is this? Gears of War? Dead Space? Hell no. This is Iron Meat. Speaking of enemies, look at some of these really insane monster designs. Just look at some of the crazy stuff you see in the beginning of the demo. These guys look like something from Dead Space or the movie The Thing. You basically can't even recognize that these monsters were once human. However, check this out. In the beginning, we also get a glimpse of a giant robotic arm that's also been dominated by this giant meat. That's what she said. That is right, because unlike the alien from the movie The Thing, you won't have to go around checking people for their cavities. Well, okay. huh? This thing doesn't care if you're a living organism or an inanimate object. It has no prejudice and will take over anyone or anything that it comes in contact with. In Iron Meat, you will encounter cars, tanks, and even trains that have been overrun and deformed from this menace. Hell, not even turrets and elevators are safe from this atrocity. Basically, nothing is safe from this creature. It wants to cover everything with its fleshy, massive meat. That's what she said. In fact, the game's enemies is not all that offers when it comes to variety. There are a ton of kick-ass weapons for you to play with. Machine guns, grenade launchers, laser guns, and just like any great action game, they are all one. Big fucking gun. On top of that, you also get power-ups like the lightning bolt, which greatly improves your attack speed. Or how about this one, which basically turns you into the ultimate weapon, blasting projectiles in all directions. By the way, one quick point I want to make about the gunplay is the fact that the weapon swap glitch is not an issue in Iron Meat. This was a major problem, at least in my opinion, in Contra Operation Galuga. Using the weapon swap glitch basically made it so any charge attack weapon felt incredibly weak and ineffective compared to the other guns in the game. It basically broke so many boss fights and it caused insane, awful balancing issues. So I'm happy to see that this problem is not present in this game. However, cool enemies and weapons are only part of the winning formula for a kick-ass action game. Another key factor is the music. And don't worry, Iron Meat has you covered there as well. The game's soundtrack is just badass. In fact, it even goes a step further and has these really cool animated cutscenes. After playing several of the game's demos, it is one that I highly recommend you put on your wish list. And don't worry, you won't have to wait forever for this one to be released. Because the release is set for September 26th of this year. 
on all platforms. But I would love to hear what you all think. Is Iron Meat something you guys plan on picking up? What other retro tech games are you looking forward to? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the meaty grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.